Paul Burrell has dismissed suggestions that Princess Diana's 1995 interview with the BBC led to her losing royal security. The late Princess of Wales Panorama sit-down has come under scrutiny lately after an inquiry accused journalist Martin Bashir of using deceitful behaviour to obtain the exclusive. On Good Morning Britain, the former royal butler addressed claims that this contributed to Diana's death by influencing the removal of her security in divorce proceedings with Prince Charles. Mr Burrell told ITV that it was not true that the Bashir interview led to the royal giving up her security detail. He said, the princess dismissed her security staff in 1993, two years before the Panorama interview. Her security detail had nothing to do with Panorama or, then, the acceleration towards the end of her life. So that's not true, she didn't have any security at that time. The former butler continued. Remember she didn't tell Martin Bashir everything about her life. He didn't know about Hasnat Khan, he didn't know the other things that were happening in her life. She kept everything in compartments. She was very good at not telling secrets to other people. At the time, Diana was separated from Prince Charles, but after the broadcast, the Queen ordered the estranged couple to divorce in 1995. Many claimed that, as part of her exit, Diana was stripped of her security detail, a move which may have contributed to her accident in 1997. The princess brother, Earl Charles Spencer, said that he draws a line between the controversial Panorama interview and her tragic death two years later. Prince William also claimed that the tell-all made his parents' relationship worse. In an incendiary statement, the Duke of Cambridge said the BBC's failures contributed significantly to Diana's fear, paranoia and isolation. In contrast, Prince Harry blamed toxic media culture at large for his mother's death, rather than just the BBC. The Duke of Sussex's separate statement claimed that the ripple effect of a culture of exploitation and unethical practices ultimately took the princess life. The Director General of the BBC, Tim Davey, has offered a full and unconditional apology in the wake of the report.